welcome back to the channel in today's video we're looking at some more things that might help the new people who are coming to the game tomorrow and this is five things in new atlantis that you should be doing right away as soon as you get to new atlantis because it's very very important and we are here in the constellation building and we're going to talk about that a little bit but before we get into it, make sure you hit the like button leave a comment down below telling me what your starting traits were and subscribe if you're new around here but let's get into it when you do the main quest line you'll eventually get to constellation it's not too long into the game and you're pretty much going to be doing it because you have to you will get to this area and you'll do a bunch of missions for them well not a bunch a couple of and you'll eventually get the lodge key you'll become a fully fledged member of constellation you'll get your own room upstairs but you'll get the lodge key now the lodge key will take you down this side here this is normally locked that's the front door and we go down here this will lead you to a very important room your workbenches room so unless you have a house and build your own workbenches, this is a very quick and easy way to go and visit everything that you need when you want to do research, when you want to upgrade your spacesuit, when you want to upgrade weapons. There are also weapons and stuff here on the wall if you're brand new and you don't have many weapons and all the things that you need like credits and resources in the chests. We've got an industrial workbench, we've got the research lab, we've got cooking, we've got uh, medicine stuff, we've even got a first aid there that you can steal out of. But another thing that is here as well is your mission board, which is very, very important too. Um, oh, I didn't want to accept that straight away. Nope. So this gives you quests to do for a varying amount of credits. Obviously, the higher the credits, it might just take a little bit longer to do. But every time you are in New Atlantis, in the constellation, this is the place to be. Unless you have your own house and you've, and you've built stuff up. Now you want to run down here. You want to turn right. You want to run all the way into this room. And right here is a master locked door for a pretty cool set of armor for a brand new player. There is a way to actually glitch this by getting close, going into first person and looking through the crack of the door and then getting access to the mannequin. And then you can open the mannequin and you can take the armor without even having to do the pick lock. It's a really good set of armor. It'll last you for a while until you start getting legendaries and stuff next up is fast traveling again i've spoke about this in another video but for specifically in new atlantis you can actually go to any part of new atlantis you want you don't have to go on the train to get to a new area if you want to go to the commercial district you just hit the commercial district and travel straight to it which is very 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 useful um because a lot of the times well when you first start you're just going to run around and explore that's fine but for a lot of the times you have to go in and out for quests you have to go here there and everywhere it's very easy and very quick and very convenient to do it that way next up we have something that you should be doing off the bat one of the quest lines that you can do it's kind of out of the way and if you didn't really know about it you would only come about it by accident so you want to run all the way down here go through the lag that happens on xbox series x and go to gal bank once you enter in here there's this guy here called landry um landry hollyfield and he will give you bounty hunter quests where people who owe the bank money need to get them their money and he has about five or six different bounty hunting missions which is easy to do and you get a lot of credits like the first one's 2000 the second one's 3500 then 5000 then it just keeps going up and up and up so they're very easy and quick to do and you'll get a whole bunch of credits and it's it's fun it's you know it's interesting you know you get to see other planets straight away and do and do things like that so definitely worth looking in next up what you should be doing is joining the uc distribution center which is also in the same area as the bank you go into this door here and you will actually find this place on the normal story quest but you'll have to come back later to take up the quest that they offer you so you talk to the people in here and they will offer you a whole bunch of quests it could be like up to two to three hours of quest line and it's a big part of the major story it's very interesting it's a very fun quest line and what will happen in the end is is you will gain citizenship to live in this new atlantis which means you could buy your own apartment here and because it is such a long quest line it's you should very much be getting it as soon as possible because otherwise um you are gonna struggle to catch up i guess but it's definitely worth it but also as well it's the tutorial mission so you're gonna learn the lore of the place you're gonna go in and um get a whole bunch of credits and armors and weapons and rewards and loots things that will you're going to need in the in the game in general so it's definitely a a, a place you want to invest some time into 
Next up, the commercial district has a whole bunch of shops and there are some shops scattered around that are really going to help you. There's clothing shops, which has bonuses and buffs to things like persuasion or health or O2. And they cost a little bit of credits, but they're well worth having just to buff you up a little bit at the start of the game. There's medical places to go to to get as much medicine and stuff that you can. There's weapon shops, there's ammo sh ammo in those weapon shops that you're going to need. Um, and also ammo has no mass, so if you can afford it and you can find ammo, just pick it all up. All of it, as much as you can carry, just take it because there's no mass. But using the shops is very effective for the first like hour of the game. And then you start to find new loot and different things and quest rewards and loot in chests but if you want to get like a little bit of power a head start use these shops to be able to buff yourself up quite a bit now i said five things but there's a, a little sneaky bonus six now in most towns you get kind of like side quest forced upon you and they're called activities which is down here you can open them up and you can go through and see all of these things that you can do within varying cities but when you're in new atlantis it will be only new atlantis activities all of these are very quick easy fun quests and you get 2000 credits at the end some of them are occurring like this one i've got here with kelton thrush he's a scientist guy and you can keep doing things and doing things and getting more rewards very easy and quick to do helps kind of like expand the 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 immersion within new atlantis um, so it's definitely worth just just picking up a few of them and doing them and that's about it, you know, five things that in New Atlantis you should be doing from the very start of the game. And for all you new people who come tomorrow, I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, all that fun stuff. Thank you for watching. I've been easy now. You guys have been awesome.